Hey everybody, Sean here from VidGameAct.com. Here we are today, back in Yesterday Origins, grabbing the Small Apple Achievement. This is to get all the items and interactions in Chapter 3 when you are in New York. Starting off in the hotel, what you want to do is you want to do your self-examination. Hit Y, you want to get your hair, your hands, the back of your pants, and then your shoes. Open up your inventory by holding left trigger and make sure you get the coin. Make sure you examine the Y in the middle and then you also want to get your cell phone. You should also have a book in your clue inventory, so hold right trigger and then examine that. Turn around and look on the bed for the jacket, make sure you examine that. Turn back around and look outside the window at the Chrysler building. Then what you want to do is you want to look at the vent right underneath the window. There should be a secondary examination to the far right, so make sure you look at that. After that, look on top of the bed for the map of New York City. Then you want to go to the front, look at the TV. So after this, there's a secondary examination. Turn the TV around. You'll notice a USB port on the back. That will come in handy later. Make sure you look at the brochures in front of the TV, and then finally we're going to go to the left side of the bed to get the cell phone. Make sure you call up the receptionist, and then you are going to get a few things, most notably another clue in the form of the Wi-Fi password for the hotel, as well as ordering dinner, which will serve into the next puzzle. Yes, sir. I can't find the Wi-Fi. Thanks. Alright, after your dinner arrives, make sure you hold right trigger and then interact with the Wi-Fi clue. Then you want to interact with the dinner, it's going to be sushi. You want to make sure you grab the chopsticks, and then the other interactions are going to be the soy sauce, the rolls on the right, as well as the miso soup, which is going to be on the bottom. You don't have to click the rolls on the left or the rice bowl. Interact with the chopsticks once they're in your inventory, and then you're supposed to use this thing on the vent to fish out whatever's stuck on it. So go back to the vent and then use the chopsticks on that thing that was to the right. You should have fished out the business card that you got during the opening cinematic for the chapter. Make sure you examine it. Secondary examination on the back, which is going to be the lady's phone number. Then you want to make sure you use the Wi-Fi on the cell phone to get it connected and then interact by combining it with the book. You should get the core clue. Make sure you interact with that before moving on. One time skip later. This is after we go to the dude's house, talk to him, some stuff's going to happen, but we're going to come back to our hotel when the day ends. Do another self-examination by hitting Y. You want to make sure you get your hair, the front of your shirt, the back of your pants, your hand, and then your shoes. Open up your inventory and make sure you examine the coin. Don't forget that secondary examination in the center. And don't forget to get to the business card that is also in your inventory. Look outside the window for the Chrysler building again, and then look below it for the vent. Alright, go back to the TV and make sure you get the brochures in front. You should find a letter here. Once you interact with that letter, you should get a piece of paper with some symbols on it. Make sure you do that. Left trigger, interact with the letter. You get your symbols. Make sure you interact with the symbols. Both of those count as a different item. Then what you want to do is you want to interact with the TV, and make sure you get the USB port behind. Keep in mind that you do have to re-grab items if the scene changes. So after that, we are going to go back to the bed. You want to interact with the pillow on the right, and then you want to interact with the map. Go to the other side of the bed, and then interact with the left pillow, and then interact with the phone. You are going to call everyone to go look for your cell phone, basically. But then you're going to end up ordering dinner, and it will come in the form of a Diablo burrito.
All right, you're gonna solve the puzzle, which should open up the Diablo burrito, and then inside will be a USB drive. Make sure you interact with that once it's in your inventory. What you need to do is you need to stick this thing in the back of the TV to get to the next cutscene, which should tell you another puzzle. So you should get another clue at the end of the cutscene, which is going to be in the form of the meeting. Hold right trigger and then interact with it to look at it again. Then what you need to do is you need to solve the puzzle. So what you can do is you can interact with either one of the pillows. I'm going to go with the right one. Then you will notice there's a zipper on it. Make sure you open up the zipper. So move the camera and then hit A on the zipper, which should open it up. You should get a flashlight. Look at that in your inventory. Then what you want to do is you want to use this thing on the map above the bed and you're supposed to bring this over to a certain location. It's going to be the area called the lake. Make sure you grab that. Just hit the A button to get another hotspot. This should immediately teleport you to the park. Once you're here, it's a different scene. So we have to do another self-examination. Hit Y, get your hair, get the hand right here, and then get your back of your pants and then your shoes. Go to the left and look under both of these benches right here. The first one should have a remote control and the second one should have a USB cable. Make sure you grab both of those because they're very important to the main puzzle of this part of the chapter. Open up your inventory and then go through all your items. Firstly, you have the coin. Make sure you interact with the Y in the middle, interact with the remote control, and then interact with the USB cable to get those to count as interactions. Then interact with the duck in the middle right here, and then interact with the statue of Hans Christian Andersen. Make sure you get his face, the book, his bow tie, and then his treasure chest in the background. So make sure you grab all of those. Then we are going to go to the two benches on the right. You want to look under both of them. Each of them should have a photo underneath them. What you need to do is you need to add these to your inventory and then interact with them once they are in your inventory using left trigger. All right, we should be done with this first part, so head down into the main area of the park. Make sure you look at this bench right here. Then you want to get the sign on top of the bench, and then we are going to head over, interact with the toy sailboat in the background, and then finally get the cart, which should lead to some secondary interactions. So interact with the cart. You should get the antenna, which should add it to your inventory. You want to find the USB port on the front dashboard, and then finally a photo of the dog on the steering wheel, which should also add a clue. And then you can also do the trunk, which should have some rope in the back, but that doesn't have any items to it. It's just an interaction that you have to do to get this achievement. All right, back out. And now that we have all that, we can interact with the antenna once it's in our inventory and then the dog clue when it's in our clue inventory. After all that, we can interact with the cart again, and then we can use the USB cable on the USB port, and then we can charge up the remote control, which should give us the charge remote control. Remember, when an item becomes another item, you have to re-interact with it using left trigger in order for it to count towards the achievement. Once you have all that, you can head over here and then talk to this bird watcher man. Make sure you hit Y to explore him. You want to get his face, the logo on his shirt, the back of his shirt, which should have a ponytail, and then his bald spot, which has a comb over. Use the dog clue on him to get him to fork over his binoculars, and then you will have another item. Remember to left trigger and then interact with it in your inventory, and now we can use this thing on the toy boat in the background. So do that. There's two things on the boat that we need to interact with. Firstly, the key, which we need to open up that chest from earlier, and then the number on the sail. This is it where I happen to get the achievement. It's going to be for 30 gamer score. Once again, it could pop earlier or later for you, depending on some weird circumstance. I'm not totally sure what, but there are more hotspots in the game, as you can see here. So you should get the frequency as your right trigger clue. Then you want to combine it with the remote control to get the remote control with frequency, and then you want to interact with the remote control to get that, and then you want to combine that with the antenna to get the remote control that's charged with the frequency and the antenna, and then interact with that 
and then you are going to use this thing on the sailboat to get the key, interact with the key, and that's going to be the last item for the chapter, and that should be it, and that's all there is to it.